Welcome. This is Nana. Welcome to my channel. And we are going to live craft these really, I think, nice and pretty and adorable shaker cards for journals. That's what we're going to do tonight. And I'll show you my next project for the next live stream. So that's what this looks like. And we're going to be working with this. And this is all done with toilet paper rolls. So I'll have some upcoming projects later, but this is cool. So I can put this in a journal. And then either way, you can write this way or down this way or this way, whatever way you want, like that, like this. So I'm making some of those. All right. So I'll put that right there. And I have different products. So you're going to have to use acetate paper, toilet rolls, some paper. And I got I'm got. i going to try different sparkles today. The one I used for this was iridescent ones, this iridescent glitter. But I have some other ones to use too. So I'm going to do several of these tonight so that when I have journals, I can throw these in when I make some journals. So at a point, I'll have all these journals and I'm going to sell them all. So that's what I plan on. Buy some more goodies and make some more stuff. All right, I'm going to move this out of the way. Thank you for whoever gave me the thumbs up. Um, goodness gracious, that's what happens when your nails are a mess. Oh, well. Okay. Anyways, carry on. That's what happens when you're in. Hey! I have been thinking about you. I was worried about you, Brenda. As we chat, I gotta, I wanna show you something. There's the distress ink that is called Vintage Photo, and I'll put it upside down. And I'm using it so much that it's dried out. So I wanna show you that you actually can buy a refill. No, oh, that's all right. As long as you're okay, don't worry about it. I just thought about you because I was worried that you're okay. Yeah, that's all right. I, all I care was you were okay. And so you make me happy that you're here, but don't stress. If you can't make it, don't worry about it. I'm not mad. I just want people to be okay. So I'm going to show you if, I don't know if you've ever refilled an ink. Whoa, boy. Talk about making a mess. Hang on a minute. I already started making a mess. They didn't start yet. Okay. Hey, Cliff. Uh, you're okay. Well, I'm glad you're okay. I don't know. You sure you're okay? Actually, I'm going to take this, this paper I got here, and I'm going to coffee stain it. I'm going to see what this looks like because I could put this grafting paper in journals, and that's what I'm going to do. I've been uh, anxiously awaiting. I'm going to make some homemade paper. Can't wait to show you when I get started on that. I'm not going to do it on a live stream, but I'm going to make some homemade paper. Oh, look, at there's a little in here. It. A little thing that shakes it. A lot of the refills don't have that. This one has actually a shaking ball or something in it. So you're shaking it. See, it says vintage photo. And so I'm going to refill this because it's getting too, too much. I used it so much that watch it'll really suck it in. So I'm just going to fill, load this up because I need more. So I'm going to take it easy. When you first use it, it's going to be really strong when you refill it. That's going to be plenty. So he says, you're not okay. I think he's joking now. I think Cliff, Cliff likes to joke. Cliff, don't get her upset. Are you okay? Or are you not okay? Or you never been okay? I don't, I'm not sure. This is what I'm going to do. Make sure I'm going to dab it on something. See, look at how dark it is. So I'm going to dab some of it off and I'll test it out when I use it because it is really dark now. Woohoo! Really dark. All right, let's put this away. All right. So I want to see if I can get some shaker curves done, and that's what I'm going to do. Cliff, I'm fine, but I'm not. Yeah, I, Cliff, are you? Hopefully, you're okay. He likes to joke, so I was hoping he was just joking. I hope so, Cliff. I hope you're just joking. You're gonna make people nervous if you're not. See, I'm dabbing this all. Hopefully, uh, you know what else? So I want to show you. I have this piece um, acetate. It was. It came in some kind of. Uh, I don't know. I bought something and it was acetate. So this is a thin acetate, and compared to this one, is um, as you can see, a lot thicker. Oh, I forgot. Did I get my glue? Oh, I didn't get my glue.
Okay, Clint, this is for you since you're here. Um, I want to show you because he's waiting for me to do the journal. I'm going to be doing the journal next. I'll start the journal. But there is things I want to make for it. So I might have to stop. You'll see it. It's going to be, I already started clip to give hints, not hints, but let me show you something. This is what you need to do. You either have two choices and I will make two covers starting the next live stream. I'm going to start the beginning of it. I'm calling it because I did patch quilt. So it'll be called a patch quilt journal from start to finish. So you're going to see how I make covers and then put the whole thing together. So I want to show you, you have two choices. This is, I'm going to lift this up a bit because I, there, let me move this down so you can, I don't care if you see me or not, but there. So you have two choices uh, to do the journal. You either get two covers and we're going to sand it down. I'm going to literally sand this off a little bit. I'm looking to watch, learn the journal. Okay. I'm looking to, so we're going to, you need two covers. You want to get to this point and you want to do some with me or later, you need two covers that match, okay? Technically, I like putting them inside out, but this is shiny. And it, it, I'm going to tell you, you got to sand it down a bit, and then we're going to do inside out. And we're going to glue these two together. I want it nice and thick. And even this isn't that thick. This is still not that thick of a material, these two together, right? So that's your choice of two, two cereal, whatever size you want. Two of the, if you want to use macaroni and cheese box, whatever size you want it, one inch, two of the same identical boxes is what you're going to need. We're going to take sandpaper, scratch it down, and then you're going to glue these together. And that's going to be the, the start of the main part of the cover for a journal. And I'm going to do the cover first before I get into everything else. And I'm going to make this one. I'm going to make two signatures in this, this one. So this is going to be the one for my journal that I'll show you how to make. Uh, what miss message? I'm looking forward to watch. Uh, wait a minute. What miss message? And I'm looking forward to watch and learn to make journal. Okay, I'm, I'm looking to watch. We got you. It's all good. I got. I understand what you're saying, Brenna. So, and this is for Cliff too, because Cliff wants to make a leather one. So, Cliff, my thoughts on this is, if you're going to make a leather journal, I don't personally find this thick enough for it, but you can do it. So, my next cover, I will do. I won't decorate the cover yet. The next live stream is strictly. I'm going to make at least two journal covers just this part if I got time then I might decorate the cover a little bit but I I would recommend if you were doing something stronger then you need the good chipboard as far as I'm going to say I have bought chipboard so I will be doing two covers I'll do one with cereal boxes or well there you go this is the series box so you need two cereal boxes and you do a cover like that or I'll take you from start to finish doing a chipboard is another cover that I want to show you. So the choice is yours. However, like I said, I recommend if you're going to do and put good leather on this, I think personally you should actually do a thicker chipboard than using the cereal boxes. This is not that thick. And I can show you, it turns out nice. But remember, these are projects for me. If I'm going to sell it, well, I might sell, I'm going to probably sell all these things. I really don't need this many journals, but this is um, right here. This is, you saw me, I used two cereal boxes for this. You see, this is thick, but if I show you, and it works well, because look at how I packed it in. So it is thick, but it's not as thick as when you come to use this chipboard. Chipboard is much thicker than even two lines of two cardboards. If I glue these together, you'll see this is thicker. So that's kind of what I'm saying. I cannot get my typing right today. I had another procedure and as play with my mom. Oh, sorry, honey. That's all right. I cannot get my typing right today. I had another procedure and I it's played with my mind. You don't have to be, apologize, Brenda. Don't you worry. I thank you for being here and don't worry about typing, spelling, none of that. I could care less. You're you're I'm just happy you're here and nothing's wrong with you. You're you're doing okay. So look at all my stuff. I really packed this book in. Um, so I might have to do another one just so I can relieve the pressure on this book because I have so much in it. Uh, but that's what I'll say. Lots in it. And I don't want to wreck ooh, my cover on this. I just drop oh, some of the flour. Okay. So I'm going to, I showed you the two. Next live stream, it'll be the start of, um, I want to show you what I started to do. The cover. So, so this one, 
will be the next live stream I do. You want to learn how to, from start to finish, I'm going to show you start to finish, showing two different covers, finishing one journal, and then I'm going to show you things to put in the journal, which I have been all along. These are things that once I make this journal, I'm going to put some in there. I, I, I like closer, I like closer to the journal. Wait a minute, I, I like... I'm not sure what that means. I like closer to the journal, but I know you're trying. It's not typing right. All right. So let me, uh, I'm not finished. Is somebody be right back? I got to grab you the cover. All right, so I wanted to show you this so you get an idea of my cover that I'm not doing online because it's too much work to try to do this. But this is this journal will be from start to finish, and this will be um, a patchwork. It'll be called patchwork, sorry, patch quilt journal. So I made the cover. It's not done yet. I'm still it's pinned together, but this is kind of what the front of it's going to look like right here. The the cover. Okay, I'm not done it yet. So you can see all the pins. I have to connect it all, hand stitch it all. And uh, that's gonna be, when I go to do the journal, this is my cover right here. I'll show you, it'll look like this. Somewhere in there, once I get all the stuff, that'll be the next part where I show you. I'm, I work, I finish this online, it'll be offline. I'll be doing it tonight, tomorrow, next few days and I'll be done it. So then when it comes time to putting it all together, uh, I like the button clo you cl to close the journal. Oh, nice. I might, I, there's different closures. And uh, I don't know if I'll do that on this one, but anyways, you, you want to refresh so you catch caught up to me. I think you guys are not refreshed. So anyways, this is my cover. Instead of leather or whatever, I'm doing this one. And even though this is upside down, I, I like it like that. I might leave it upside down, but I have to do a little more patchwork. But that's, you're going to see... See, that's what the cover looks like. Once I form the book, I glue it together, trim it the, the width I want, and then this is gonna come on on the cover of that. So that's, that's what I'm doing here. That's what it's gonna look like. I might flip it around, but I kinda like it this way. This is upside down, but I could actually take the cover and do it the opposite way but I still got to finish all this stuff right here. I have to do all, all where it's tacked together with pins. I got to finish it. So I'm going to move that out. This is the next one I'm going to be working on next live stream. I do. So let me get back to what I'm supposed to be doing tonight. And we're going to do these cards, shaker cards. So this is what we're going to start out with. I'm going to, um, you need to start out with a toilet paper roll. Very pretty cup. Oh, thanks, Rhonda. That's okay. So I flatten these toilet paper rolls. If I need anything. I might need some scissors. And um, so I got enough. I got like how many? Do I got. I could actually do five tonight if I want to. See how late it gets. Hey, Kathleen. So there's your flattened toilet paper roll, right? And what I'm going to do? I have my acetate that was free. I had this. So as long as I cover within this acetate paper, which I'm going to use, so I can technically trim it down a little bit if I want uh, and not cover this much of the paper. So I could, again, I'm sorry, I'm going to get my scissors out. All right, so... Oh, what I want to do, I'm sorry, like I have as much as I can around it, but I got to get my, your rules look different from ours. Oh no, it's cut up. Does it, it, It'll work no matter what, Kathleen. Um, let me show you the original toilet rolls.
Yeah, that's that's what they look like. But I have some brown. It, it doesn't matter what color they are because you're hiding it anyway. So this is our toilet rolls, they, but they come in brown and different colors. Depending on the brand of toilet paper you buy, you can have them in a, a, a tan color, it, it, different colors. It really doesn't matter what color they are. You just want them for the support. What is the measurement of the flattened piece? Um, huh. Let's see. I wonder if this will work my grafting paper. I don't think so, though. Um, let's see. It's not going to matter the size of this anyways, because you're going to cut it down to what you want. See, like right here, that is different size than that. You don't have to have it um, measured. I can get a measure takes a jazz that. Ooh, I can't tear already. Okay, here it is. The toilet paper roll measures non-cut. Um, it is just under, here's four inches. So it's just under four inches. It's like one, one eighth short, it's one little line. So it's almost four inches by um, five and a quarter. So four by five and a quarter is the actual roll when it's flattened. But like I said, you don't need this size anyways, because my this one here is probably the perfect size card right here. And this is just under five by three. Just three, uh, not quite three and a quarter. What is that, three and two eighths. So yeah. So I, I'm gonna do this card's gonna be different than this one. It's gonna be taller because I have an acetate and I'm not gonna cut the acetate down. I'm just going to work with this size of this. So technically, I'm going to trim some of it. I'm just going to trim a little bit because you'll see what I mean. I'll cut it down after I glue the, the acetate to it. Oh, you're welcome. All right. Cut that off as long as it's the width. Like I said, it doesn't matter what size you do. Really, there's no set size as long as it fits on the toilet paper roll. Uh, did I cut it too much? Nope, it's going to be good. I just don't want to waste any of it. Like I don't want, you'll see what I'm doing next. So I'm going to take my paper that's going to go underneath the acetate and let's find some fancy paper. Let's see what I got here. I have some really pretty paper and I have some flower designs. And I have it all set in here. Let's see what paper I want to do this on. And I'm thinking of putting like this on it this time. I got a couple pictures I want to work with. I got another one like the last time. So we'll try to do different things. I got this one. Little rows I could do. Um, just different ones. Let's see. So I actually dyed paper last night. I actually did a lot of coffee stain paper, and I'm going to do some more. Um, I, I'm really getting into I'm trying to find a, a used blender, and I'm going to be making homemade paper. And I'll show you that when I make it. I'll show you what it looks like because uh, I'm excited about that. Right, so see, these are really pretty paper. Um, but I'm trying to find something. If I do patchwork, I want to do a card. I'm going to use one of these for this patchwork journal, and I want to find one that I would feel cool with it and I don't see what would I like to I don't want that one this is too small this would have been cool but it's too small that piece so let's see oh this will work I like this one did I oh I used that one already so I'm not going to use that one I got to use a different one let's do this is pretty too yeah this will go good patchwork this is it I'm going to use this one so I'm going to put is that cardstock? Um, it's it's not cardstock. It's actually designer paper. See, it's, it's cardstock normally um, is thicker than this. So this is a little bit thinner. Kathleen, you can use paper. By the way, I'll do one. I'll show you different styles. You don't have to use this. We'll do different ones. 
where you don't have to use a more expensive paper if you don't want to. Uh, the choice is yours. Right now, I'm just going to show you how to do one. And then um, after that, I'm just going to do different ones and using different kind of paper. So that's what we'll do. This is what my main thing was. I wanted to do some of these. And so I'm going to get a couple of these done. Yeah, I'll do one with uh, you. Everyone has paper like, um, you know, I have to find it, though. But, you know, the old printing paper, whatever, books from books, pages from books. Well, I'll do one with like that with pages from books. You don't have to do this. All right. Um, doesn't matter where I put this as long as I put it down. All right. I don't want to waste any paper, so I'm trying to put it close to the edge. I'm going to be trimming it anyways after I'm done this. All right, so we're going to go this side. Okay. Make sure. Let's glue down. Okay, so we're going to cut that. Let's cut this nice and smooth. I should have my other scissors, but um, I didn't want to keep running around because I don't have a lot of space here. So I keep on getting new stuff. So I can't fit everything I need. So I have to get up to get the stuff. Pretty paper. I love it. But you don't have to have that paper. Like I said, this is because I think this will look good in a quilting journal. That's why I'm thinking flowers go with quilts. And I don't know. I'm going to put this card in it. That's why I'm designing it that way. Okay, so then... The next you're going to do is we're going to glue the, the opposite side. See, as long this is going to be where the shaker comes in. You can see through here, and I'm going to put this acetate, and then I'm going to trim it down again. Once I put the acetate on it, I'll trim the sides down. But I'm going to get the other side done next. So I'm going to take this, and I got paper, the coffee stain paper that I dyed a whole bunch of. And that's what I'm going to cover the back with some coffee stain paper. See, I got a whole pad I was working on that yesterday. And I actually even used, I have an idea for this is deli paper. I don't know if I want to use deli paper. It's kind of thin for this. And you'll, I don't, the whole point is I don't want to see the toilet paper rolls. But I'm going to put this in this journal. The one journal I'm going to be making, I'm going to have that. And if you have an old gift card, ah, it works real well. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's good. Okay, so that's cool. If you have an old gift card, it works real well to smooth things out. Absolutely. Mark, Mark, Kathleen, you could use a gift card for this. But uh, yeah, that's well said. Hey, you, how's it going? Have a great day. Hi, cheers. Have a great day. You too. So yeah, that's a good idea, Kathleen, that you could use um, an old credit card gift. Yeah. Plus, how about using a, an old gift card or an old gift, you know, a card that you got in the mail? Use it to decorate this stuff. That, that's uh, another thing you could do. I plan on, I want to cut this down and I want to die cut it. And I might do this, I might do this in front of you guys, what I want to do here. Because this is going into my, this patchwork quilt maybe. Or some other, another quilt book. Or another journal I meant to say. Alright, so I'm going to get that out of the way. I don't want that really. I always use it. Yeah, no, it makes sense. If you don't have a bone folder, you could use a credit card instead. Both of them do the same thing, really. Yeah, that's good. It's a good tip. Absolutely good tip. All right. I also this is a this is the paper I did. I did this paper, and I coffee stained it. So this is going to be really cool to put in journals too. All right. Let me. I just looking for if I cut a paper already. Here's one that's torn. I'm going to use this one. All right. So then I'm gonna. Take this. Oh, hold on. Let's get all this little way. Yeah, I'm just like I agree. I'm happy you're throwing a hints. Honestly, I do appreciate you, Kathleen, and the stuff you say. Um, I just want you to know that. If I know different, then I kind of say different, but I think what you're saying is a really good idea. Absolutely. But you know what, when it comes to other things, like when I've tried things and people kind of read it on the internet and say, oh, do this. And if I tried it already, 
I kind of will say, I don't think, in my opinion, it does not work. I've tried it. Um, but uh, this stuff is different. Crafting, and if you can find shortcuts and things you don't have a bone folder for or and use the old cards. Actually, you can do some a lot kind of cool things. Remember, we did it last year, Kathleen, with the credit cards. I made those. Uh, I was working with beehive stuff. Remember the beeswax, and I made the cards. I kept saying none of your beeswax, but um, I did that. The cards that I, I have them somewhere too. I put them. I don't know what I put them all in, but some of those will be cool to use too in journals. Okay, so I'm going to cut this off. So um, I have my cutter here. So some of them, the next one I'm going to have to cut, obviously. I'm going to want my acetate paper cut straight. But this was a free piece I had. And so I'm using it up. Free piece. All right. I'm going to... I want to also edge it but i can't edge it quite okay so that's what it looks like so far paper now i put the brown here the coffee dyed paper on this side oh it's coming off a little bit i'm too rough with it all right i'm gonna fix that in a minute but i want to go this way and we're going to put this down all right, and I still have to trim around the edges. Now, how you put it down is two-sided double tape. That's what I'm going to use. You could use glue, but it takes forever to dry acetate when you're using glue. So I got some double-sided tape here. That's how I hold it down. Let's see, this one I'm going to use. This is like a quarter-inch double-sided tape. So I'm going to come... Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put it on the acetate. Only thing it's really hard to see. Oh boy, this is really hard to see. But we're going to get it on there. Okay, put it to the, as close to the edge as you can because this is where the sparkles will not go. Once you seal it down, you, you won't get the sparkles in there. So you're going to do all four sides of this. And then after that, we decorate it. And then I'll do some more. And I'll just use some other kind of paper. Um, I like your ideas uh, on old gift cards. I'm going to do a different sparkle. I want to show it up. So I have, oh, these will be pretty. Let's see. These are like iridescent stars. So I'm going to try that on this one. Let's see what happens. All right. So you're going to leave one side. Mm, I didn't do a poker teal, so let's take this. Mm. That works well, really well, even for things in the kitchen. Um, I don't think she's talking about, I was the one who said about the uh, gift cards, Brenda. She's talking about credit card kind of things. Wait, I like your idea on old gift. Oh, okay. Oh, you did say it, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So but make sure it sticks right. If it doesn't, you got to keep doing it until you know it's stuck to the acetate. All right. Come on. See, it still didn't stick yet. So it's got to stick. So I don't want that done. I want this 
or done. Can I get it off? Nope, still not stuck on there. Nope, it's got to stick. Why are you giving me a hard time? All right. You know, when you come on here, this is what happens. <sighs> it's not sticking. It's got to stay on the acetate. Did I get a stick yet? Nope. Still not sticking. Oh, uh, credit card, gift card. Yeah, no matter. Yeah, no, it's all the same. That's not what I meant, though. I was thinking of something else. I thought we were talking about recycling Christmas cards. But no, that was a good idea. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Um, this would come off. I don't know why it's not. Okay, I got to go with my, my pointy, my pokey tool and see if this works better. Um, if you find your tape or washi, it's, it's sticky, put a microwave for a few seconds, it works. If you find your tape or washi, washi loses its stickiness. Yeah, I don't, first of all, I don't have a, this is not a washi tape. This is double-sided tape, and I do not have a microwave, but that, that's a cool point, and I have never done it before, so I don't know. Oh, Yeah. It's sticking yet. I don't know why. It's giving me such a hard time. I'm going to have to use another kind. It doesn't like sticking to this. Holy frick, this is the first time I've ever had this happen where it doesn't want to stick to this particular acetate. Why is it not sticking? It's getting on my nerves. You know what? I'm going to have to use another. I don't know why it's not coming off. It comes off on, on the other stuff I have, and it's not coming off on this. Why is it doing it? Yeah, keep, save the coffee for me. Yeah, just put it in that jug. Dump the water, and then put it in the jug. Thank you. Getting some more. i got to just buy some more paper after. This should stick. Oh, glass of water. Thank you. This is not. All right, I give up on this one. I'll come back to it after. Let's grab another piece. Let's see what else I got here. A whole bunch. There we go. Right now that that doesn't work, I gotta do another plan here. Maybe the other side of the pot. I don't know. It's not. I've never seen anything like this. This doesn't want to stick. I'll try the other side, but let's see. It does not want to stick. I've never seen anything like this. It doesn't want to stick. Ah, this is it working now? Let's see. No, it's still not sticking. Oh, you know what? I'm, I'm getting rid of this. Like I said, I have no patience right now. So I'm going to do this. Let's to cut this down. We'll get this working. I'll try the other side after uh, and see if that works. But it's weird. It never shouldn't do that. It should stick. The tape, two sides of tape should stick to this. Okay, so this normally has a film on it. Doesn't have a film on this. Make sure there's no film on here. Right, I'm going to use the silver side. Right, let's see. Let's cut this to make sure it's even. Okay. OK, 
Okay, that's good. And we're going to be careful with this one because I'm going to, this side looks good. So let's see. I'm going to make it three and a half inches. Let's make this card three and a half inches and I'll just be careful that I don't rip it. There. There. All right. So I'll make sure it's even as much as I can because I'm going to try something. Is that even? Three and a half. Let's make sure. All right, that's better. All right, let's do this. Since I know I'm going to do this whole thing and I'm not cutting down, I'm actually going to come across and ink all the edges of this side, both sides. You will see that this will work out in the end. But it seems like when you do live streams, things don't work out the way they're supposed to. By the way, thank you for joining me. All right. How about, how's your glue books, guys? Are you done your glue books? All right, that's what it looks like. Now, I said, let's redo this again so I get the right size of this thing. It's three and a half. And how wide is it? Okay, it's three and a half wide. And what's the length? Three and a half by four and a half, just a little less than three, a little more. Three and a half. Okay, so if it's off a little, which it might be, no big deal. I can just trim it all together. Oops. Right, that looks good. Ink it again. All right, now let's try. Hopefully, it'll stick to this one. Now, this is a two sided one gold and silver, but I kind of like the silver. So, I'm going to try this again with the tape. Let's see if this is going to work. It should, but you know. Oh, now see, I can see it sticking. Now, this one's sticking really well to this. Let's see, it's already good. All right, let's try this. This one's going to work. I feel it. It's going to work much better. The whole point is you got to make sure it's all sealed and all cut all the edges. All right. Let's see. Yeah. That's see that works on this one. Don't know why it didn't work on the other one. Um, and I'm going to unpull three sides of this. And I'm also going to put a little bit on this corner because I see there's not enough stickiness there. So I'm going to just add a little teeny piece there. Just 
just give me that sticky tape just right here. See, it's really sticky now. It's working well on this stuff. Oh, it just came off on its own. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to line this up. Which way do I want it? This way. Okay. All right, so I'm going to come back in here, and you're going to be very careful. Actually, I'm not even going to take that off yet. I'm going to come back and take my stars and put them in there. back here and take this one off. And just, if there's any excess, just trim it off here. See it inside? Shaking. Here's your shaker card. I'm going to come back to this side and make sure it's all trimmed. These are not my best scissors, but I'm not leaving, so I'm going to work with what I got. All right. And now I'm going to take a little picture. Um, like I'm going to do it similar to the one I did. So if I'm going to go, I can go this way or this way. The roses are up that way. So I am going to go over here in this corner and do this. Is that acetate clean? Um, sorry, I just read it now. Sorry, Kathleen. I'm sorry, I'm behind. I was just trying to pay attention to this, but I don't. It was used as secondhand thing. I guess you could wipe it off with vinegar or something. Oh, neat, Kurt. I got to try and make one. I do not have anything to put in shaker right now. Okay. Oh, well, you just need sparkles. We're gonna do different ones. I'm gonna do several different kinds, and I'm gonna use different paper. It's almost done. Right, and I'm going to come back, and I want to put the rows right here so it really shows up, just like I did the other one. And we're going to make another one. And I don't know, I might even stamp some stuff, we'll see. Put the 
So down here. Hey, Mish, how are we doing? Hello, Misha's in town. Thank you for the thumbs up, by the way, you guys. Okay, so this is uh, number two shaker card. Let's make sure it dries. All right. But uh, that's the front. And then you have the back. And there's the first one. I did dots. I don't. I was trying to find my plain one. I'm, if I can find it, I'm going to do make a plain one, too, so you can do see the things underneath it better than the dots I have. But um, so that's two. I'm good, thank you. Very much. Very good. All right. So we'll leave it like this. This is the two I did. So I'm going to do another one. Only this time, I'm going to have to go run. I want to use. All right. Let's see. Let's set a size. Let's cut this down to the size I want. That's what I'm going to do with this one. I'm going to cut this one down. So this is going to get trimmed, and then I'll cut this to a different size. I can make smaller ones out of this, too. I don't have to have it big. Um, so we're going to go and do, how about five? Five and three quarters. I'll go a little longer. Five and three quarters. By three and a half by four. Nope. How about three? Five and three quarters by three. Yeah. We're just going to a three and a half. What's that? Three and a quarter. I don't have a quarter right here. So this one will be like three and a quarter. I'm just showing you can make any size you want. Anything that fits here, you can make on these. All right, by the way. So now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna throw this in the garbage, but I wanna do paper now. Like I need, I don't have that here. So of course I gotta go get some, but. I'm going to do book page is what I meant to say. And I'm going to have to go this way. This is going to be, these are this way. Like that. This is going to go tall. How many butterflies have you released now? Um, you're on the wrong channel. <laughs> All right, let's see. I don't, I have to, how many did I release? Six? No, wait. Uh, let me see. Bruce, Naya, Peyton, Josh, Gary, um, Larry, uh, eight. Yes, eight. I released eight. I have one wounded. You know that. Her name's Marigold. But Marigold is funny. I get a big kick out of Marigold comes and she gets excited and I bring her out and she flies to different areas. I bring her in the backyard and in my garage I have a netting so I let her fly to the netting. So Marigold is a wounded one. Uh, my Marigold is um, a wounded butterfly but uh, I make her have the best life I can do for her. So I actually bring her outside. I let her fly. And then I just bring her back. She comes back on my hands. She wants to go. I know she does, but she can't. It's just hard to see her because she can only fly a small distance. But I let her go fly. 
I let her go fly on the flowers. I let her go fly on. Uh, she flew to the top part of my uh, peach tree today. So she's, you know, she's living the best life I can give her, for how she is. Because she has a bad leg and her wings are bad. But uh, I can tell she's happy. Um, well, the, my first one lived very long. Like, not long. I don't know what you consider long, but um, I will see. We will see what's the average length. I didn't really look it up and pay attention to this, which I should know, but I don't. Um, but in captivity, I believe they last longer anyways, but we'll see. You know, I'm not counting the days of writing her off, but I can see her wings a little bit uh, rough. And her leg is, it's actually a little better than it was, but the wings are bad. The teary wings seems to go first. Then she's missing an antenna too. I don't know what happened to her antenna. So she doesn't have an antenna and her leg. But if you get it, if you saw how much spunk she has, she's very funny and she's cute. Um, and I, like I said, she, uh, I'm giving her the best life. So she's, she's so far. Um, she floods around. I put, and I put her in the netting. She always has flowers if she wants flowers. So that's what I'll say. Here, I like, see, I like the look of that. Yeah, she's cute. I will show you. I used to show, I want to be careful because I don't want her flying around here. And I don't want, uh, my first one, uh, that she got too rough. I Like, I'm talking about all the flying and she'd fall and her wings would fly. And this one lands on her feet. It's kind of, she's different. She just has a lot more spunk. Um, but she's not as, she's in bad shape, but not as in bad shape as the first one I had. Because she has, she can at least fly a little distance, where the other one could never fly at all. Just fly and and flop. This one flies and she can actually land on something, which is really cool. So, I told you, I don't, I won't get upset because it's no good raising them and being upset about it. You just let them live the longest life they can have, and we'll see. We'll see. Um, I'm trying to figure out when she was born. I forget. I'd have to check, but. Um, Yes, she was not the first. I, I can't remember. I'd have to go check my live streams to see when she was actually born. All right. Um, I don't know why I didn't have to ink that first, but then I'm going to come back with my other paper. Oops. All right. All right, let's see. No, that's all right. It's okay. I was giving it, it's all right. It's all good, Misha. Don't worry about it. But you need to show up where you're supposed to shop them. I know I come on earlier. Anyways, I come on when I come on. I come on when they're born and that's it. But uh all right, let's get this one done. I know, I know, and you don't get up that early, anyways. I can't be on all day, you know. No, you don't have to be. I was only on for an hour. Don't even go all day. Come on, young lady. I'm not. I don't live stream all day long. This one I do, but that one is only an hour at the most, give or take a couple minutes past the hour. I don't stay on long. This one I stay on as long as I finish the craft and I'm enjoying myself. And you guys are okay out there. Um, this is what I do. All right, so where's the sizzles? All right. See, I continue to craft. Whether I have, I'm talking to myself, I'm still going to do it. I said, I don't care. I'm not going to get depressed that nobody comes and joins me. And yes, I do have Brenda and Kathleen, and I thank you very much. And you too, Misha. You are somebody, but I'm just saying I still like to do this. Good thing I like doing it because otherwise I wouldn't come on, you know, People are not interested in watching, so I could do this offline. But uh, I have wonderful friends, and I oh shoot, I get it again. Be careful when you're uh, doing.
doing this. I'm going to cover that up, though. This time I'm covering it up. Cover it up. Uh, we're still moving my daughter in. Oh, wow. I did a lot of cleaning. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of work. And my daughter comes down. I'm very super excited on the 13th. Excited to have her. I haven't seen her for her since last September, so I'm um, thrilled to death. I want to. I'm going to cover this corner because of what I did here. So I'll get that after. She is busy. That's for sure. All right. I need. Um, I do gold on here. Let's try gold on the other side. Oh, I cut some of this already. Let's see if I got a piece that I can use already for this. Yeah, I'm going to do gold on this one. And then I'm going to see if I can find something that would really show up here. Okay, let's match this up a bit. And I'll trim it again once I get it on here. Mm. As long as it matches up, even if it's off a bit, I'm okay with that. All right, let's try this. Yeah, I'm excited. I can't wait. All right, this, this goes up. I could put this one down on this. You know what? I think I'll put it down like this way. And then I'll make sure it's stuck all over, and then I'll trim the whole thing again in a minute. So we're going to put the tape on here. I have to get some more. I only have so much um, two-sided tape left. This is still my Stampin' Up! tape. And after this, I don't have much left. I use a lot of this for books, for journals that you can use it on. You know what? I'm gonna go like this. I'll do the length better. Like that. Now I wish I had oh you know what I'm gonna find a different shaker. I might find some multi -cult. let's see i have these two i used already i want to do something that's going to show up and i don't know if this is going to show up so we're going to see a couple things um all right Yeah, perfect. This this is working quite much better. Much, much, much better. All right. Let's take that off. Um, all right. Boy, is that ever sticky? Let's see. Yeah, that's true. I never. I, that's a good question, Mish. Kathleen's the only one who can answer that. Have you heard from Katrina? I miss her too. 
um, she has been on, and we miss Katrina. That's for sure. Good one, me. We have not heard from Katrina for a while. I haven't even seen a live stream, but they don't come through to me at all. All right, so what can I put in here that's going to show up? I might have to go get some. I have silver. Um, and maybe I'll do a little bit of everything in here. A little bit of silver, iridescent. Let's do a combination of this one. Okay, let's get this opened. There we go. And I'm going to do some iridescent. Yeah, yeah. Kathleen keeps in touch more than I do. So Kathleen keeps in touch with her. How, how is she doing? Kathleen has the answer. I haven't heard from her. I wonder about her too, how she's doing. Um, and if Kathleen knows if she can say it would be great. I'd like to know too. Okay, that's not going to work. Let's do a bigger section. Catherine is well, suffering with a uh, above average summer. Is she working a lot, Kathleen? Is that why we haven't seen her online for a while? We, we miss her. And uh, to, why is it not coming out? All right. If I take the lid off, I got to be careful because this comes out extremely fast. Okay. Okay, that's enough. Enough. Ooh. Trying to get the adhesive off here. Let's see. Come on, baby. Get off. Make sure the sticky part's stuck. Did it stick? Yeah. There we go. Okay. Let's get it out of here. Come on, what's going on here? It's not sticking again. No. All right. Are you kidding me? It's got a plastic coat. It didn't, oh, goodness gracious. Light balls of fire. It's okay. I know what I'm going to do. Let me do it. Okay, it has a plastic coating on that silly thing. So I am going to have to come back with it. It's fine. And put another set on here and seal it totally. That's what I'm going to do. All right. Actually, I could glue this one down, but I think I'll still do this one. It'll be a double seal. Yes. Oh, no, her internet isn't good right now. Oh, okay. Wow. Oh. 
All right. There we go. So this did. Remember, I was looking for a plastic coating, and I said, I think it's supposed to have a plastic coating. Where did it go? And I couldn't get it off. And there it is. That's what's stuck, but it should be fine. You won't even know it's there. It's just a double seal for all the shaky stuff in it. All right. Let's make sure it's all good. Let's trim the sides. Yeah, it's got a seal on it, and I, I even said that to you. I swear there was a seal on here. How come it didn't come off? And uh, it's on the silver side. There's probably a coating on this, too. But uh, nonetheless, it's still working out, so I am not discouraged. Uh, where'd you get that pattern? Um, stamp it up. You can buy it, though. You can buy uh, stuff like that. Actually, I might try something different too. I want to show, but it didn't show up too good. I want to show you something I have that I might use. Uh, um, do the same way, but you're going to use. Uh, hang on a minute. I have to think of the name of it. I got to find it. But so there, you can see it's shaking. It's all in there. And now we got this side. And I'm going to decorate, and I want to put something here because I didn't like that. So we're going to figure out what I got here to put. I want to do something different. I do have this still left, and I could put this here, which, yeah, I think I'm okay with that. I think I'm going to ink this pert and put these here. So I'm going to do that. Right, let's do this. And... It really, you know, if I didn't have all these silly complications with the plastic and all that, these really wouldn't take that long to do, right? You just take your time and um, they don't take that long. But I thought they'd be kind of cool going in journals and stuff. So I have some paper edges I want to make too. There's just different things. But if you want to follow me, the next live stream, I'm going to start the beginning of a journal and go through the whole thing. And I will make things to add to the journal. But that's what I'm doing next. The next live stream is about, uh, I'm going to start the journal. These cards are going to be fun to make. I love anything to do with glitter. Oh, yeah. The tape that has the sponge backing for, yeah, you could use that too. Yeah, you could use that too. I have that too, Kathleen. You absolutely could do that. Um, absolutely. But it'll be a little thick. I might try one. I'll show you. But you will see the white. That's the only thing with it is you'll see the sponge white on it. You do use that. I did it for things, but if I use it, you'll see, you'll have a fat edge. Like right here will stick up and you'll see white all along there. But if you want to use that, you could. Absolutely. But you will see the white edge on it. And I was trying to avoid that. Um, and now I have to go to my book of embellishments because I don't see what I have to put on here. There we go. You know, I got to do one with the butterfly. So let's see if I can. I just want to. Oh, this will be pretty. Um, I could put it anywhere. Right down here. That. Yeah, I think I'm going to do it right there. That's my. I, I used the little book that I made for embellishments. And so that's what I went. I went to my handy little embellishment book. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this on. Now you got to be careful. This really, I should use a better glue than this. But so far, it's sticking on here, so 
I don't know if this will stick, but we'll find out. Uh, the T, yeah, okay, we didn't. Oh, vel vellum, that's what I wanted to say. You guys know what vellum is? Kathleen and Brenda, you know what vellum is, right? I'm thinking of doing a vellum card with you. Maybe I'll do one with vellum next. There, put that here. It's going to take a bit to dry, but um, I think that looks kind of cool. And there's a little back. I don't want to do too much. You want to be able to write on these, so that's, you know, but it's shaky. Got my little butterfly. It's got a glue on there. But that one's number three, and this goes this way. So that's fun. All right, let me put these butterflies away. And no, I don't know. No, I do not. Oh, you don't know what vellum is? Oh, I thought you did. It's okay. I'm going to get some vellum. I'll try vellum next. All right, so this is the three. I got to go find. I want to show you this pack of vellum that I got. It's so pretty. Um, vellum comes in clear colors, just like acetate, and uh, like this. But I, like, like she said, like Kathleen said, if it's not clean, the tape won't stick. So she has a really good point. You, you do, Kathleen. Um, that that's probably why I'm having the issue. It's not totally clean. If you clean it off, uh, it shouldn't have any oils on it. So that's probably why. Probably why it's not working. These are the three I did so far. And uh, I'll be right back in a minute. No, he's upstairs. I'm on here. Uh, love Ellen. It's uh, so fragile. Oh, cute, cute, cute. This is a paper. I absolutely love this um, vellum paper. Hey, can you hang on a minute? I just, my mom needs me for a sec. I'll be right back. All right, this the problem has been solved. She got a new watch and oh, she had one, one of these things I want to do for the back. What? I want to wear that top for me, see how it looks like. Oh, okay. It's oh yeah, I gotta get it. Okay, thank you. We don't have to do it today, but sure. whatever you want. But I want you to put, put on see what it looks like. Absolutely. Let's see what I want to use. There's tons to use, and I don't want to waste any of this. It's really pretty stuff. Oh, I know what I'll do. I want to use this as the cover. Wait, sorry, guys. But this is the one. I think I'll take the butterfly one. I just like, this is like beautiful stuff, and I don't want to waste any of it. Um, so I want this piece. Let's see. I want to see if I can put the butterflies all on this without, see, it's going to cut, cut it close. Can I do it? I don't know. I want to use that. As a matter of fact, I might not even put anything underneath this one. This is going to be strictly uh, 
Vellum. This is vellum, though, by the way, friend, if you're wondering. So I, oh, I hate the fact that I'm going to cut this up, but I'm going to cut it up because I want to use this one. Oh, it's really pretty, this pad. It's not from Amazon. This pad is just, it's gorgeous stuff. So anyways, you can hear it. It's a crispy, crispy, uh, vellum is very crispy. It's cool. You can make really beautiful projects with this. This is the first time, though, I have seen it, like, really designer vellum. Normally, vellum's white. I don't even have any to show you, the normal white one. So I'm going to do this a little differently on this one because um, I think... I'm not going to put any paper on the one side. This is going to be the cover. Let's move these aside. And I think I want to make sure you don't see it. I want to see if I cover this up. Would you actually even see the back? I don't want to see the back. That's why I'm using this. But I don't want to do a coat of paper either. But I might have to. Only because because um, of this, you might it might the the stuff might get in here. So let's see what could I use. I'm gonna go and yeah, I love them. I love this. So we're gonna use this as the cover instead this time. And I don't want to. I need the whole size of this to fit that. I can go a little narrow, but I need the whole size of the toilet roll. Let's see. I just want to make them even on both sides, not cutting hardly any off of this. Because if I do, the butterflies won't fit on there. Let's see if it's good. Just very little to straighten it out. And I got good thing I got two more to do. All right. And I could cut this down so I can still have this this part I could use somewhere else if I wanted to. So I have to move it over here. Oh, yeah. Let's see. See, it's not all going to fit. But it really, I guess it doesn't matter if I lose a little bit of it. It's probably not going to matter too much. Right. So, what of that? So, if I cut, I could cut it down just a smidgen. Just. All right. I wasn't going to do that. I wanted to go directly on here, but I I think it needs a little bit of backup, so I'm going to put paper on this one, too. Like, both sides of the same paper. Let's see if I get this on here. I don't need a new paper. But there we go. So we're going to do this. Let's try this one. So, needless to say, you can use vellum or... Well, acetate's the ones I originally showed you, but... You can use vellum too. This will work. Let's see what we're going to do inside of this. So. All right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the tape on this side rather than the other side. Um, and actually, vellum might, the glue might work. I might not even need, uh, I might try the glue on this. Because it's not as slippery as um, what acetate is. So I think I'm going to try to glue the, the vellum on here, directly on here. And let's see what happens. All right, so. So what do you got? You're working on something, Kathleen and Brenda? Yeah, you're working on a project or oh, did you answer me how you're doing with your glue books? Did you guys finish the glue books yet? So you can move on to different things. And I keep all this paper too. I'm going to, some of this is going to be good for um, stamping on. Actually, I could do that too. Actually, that's, this would be, I could stamp on this one if I want to. Let's see. I just might.
All right, so this, let's see how I'm going to do this. I want to do it the opposite way. I'm going to do this already. I'm going to re-ink it in a minute after, but right now I'm going to do this. Yep. I'm going to come back and I'm going to just put the sticky part on this. Oh no, glue. I'm going to use glue this time. And I won't do the top. I'm going to glue just the sides, all around the sides. And the top I'll glue last after I put the, the stuff in it. Uh, it is almost fit. Oh, cool. It's almost finished. That's great. Good. All right, so let's see what I can fit on here. Even if I'm off a bit, it's okay. Okay, I'm not going to put the sprinkles in because I want to do the other side. So let's cut around this. It's going to have to dry a bit too because the sprinkles will stick to where the glue is. That's kind of why you're using the tape. The tape's automatically dry. But I will let this dry a little bit before I put anything inside it. I mean, I'm not going to waste any of this stuff. I love, I love this vellum. It's really pretty. Hey, Nana, me. Hello. I'm going to make a fall cloth wreath soon. I'll be, I'll see how it turns out. Cool. All right. That's a little bit of a bubbly part, but I, I'm okay with this too. Right. And then I'm going to just come back and glue inside. When I'm done, but I want to let it dry. And I'm going to glue the other side to some paper again. So I need another piece of paper. So how's Lisa doing? How's your mom doing? Are you with your, doing something with your mom? That's what you've been busy, right, Lisa? Great. I wonder. I know I was going to do this. Actually, it looks really cool. You don't even see. I'm going to do it. I am. I'm going to. I'm, this is a called um, deli paper. And I'm going to try something with deli paper now and see. I don't know if the glue will be happy with me. Ugh. Maybe not. I think I'll stick to the paper. All right. Uh, I can't find my glue book. Hmm. Oh, my goodness. I think you finished it, didn't you? Right, let's take a to find paper. I need these for this journal coming up too. So I want to take this the, the scrappier paper I had. Can't find it conveniently. I get it. I get it. Oh, you got a mom and dog overload. Oh, I see. Getting mom and all of her crap taken care of. She's been a good sport going off to Shady Pines. Oh, well, that's good that she did that. Um, not finish it almost okay. I'm laughing too. <laughs> yeah, conveniently she doesn't have it. 
Uh-huh. All right. All right, there we go. Okay, let's see. Oh, I burned trash the other day. I didn't see it, but that doesn't mean anything. Oh my God, you mean you burnt your glue book? Is that what you're saying? I burnt trash the other day, didn't see it, but that doesn't mean anything. Oh no. Then how are the butterflies? Did Oh my God, you guys. Wrong channel. Get it, get it. Wrong channel. <laughs> you have to wait and ask me on the other channel. That's it. This is crafting. All right. Uh, okay. Spawning. All right. Let's. Uh, I'm catching up. Okay. Uh, yeah, I laugh at, at myself a lot where I pee my pants all the time. <laughs> Did the paper hatch? Did the <laughs> um, I had, Lisa, I have hatched, as you put it, um, nine of them. Nine. So eight flew away and one's wounded. And so I had nine already fly away. And now I have another set of seven coming. Lisa, don't mind her. I'll, I'll update you. She released eight already. One. Look at you, nosy posy. Nosy. Um, stay free, Kathleen. God craft the butterflies. All right. So. Mm, let's see. Oh, my nosy. <laughs> no, no, nothing. I answered the question. I answered the question. All right. Um, anyways, all is good. All is good, Misha. Yeah, I did. Injured bar fights. Okay. I'm going to put gold in this one, I think. I want to see what gold looks like. Let's see. Well, you can't even see it. Nope, that's not going to work. I'm going to dump this out. I don't think you can see it too much. Let's see what else you can see. She got clipped. <laughs> All right, let's see. Nah, gold, no, gold didn't work. You can't even see it, so I gotta try something else. Um, because of it, it's I need something stronger than that. Let's see, I don't think none of this is gonna work. I gotta find something else that's gonna work. Let's try this one, not gonna work on this. I like it, but it's just you don't really see the sparkly part. Let's see, will that work? Yeah, I guess that's not bad. You can see this one at least. You can see it. I guess I'll live with this one. I will live with this one because you can at least it see it through it. So we're going to do that one. Yes, we will. Let's pull it shut and leave it down because some of that stuff's going to stick to it. Um, I'll ask my butterfly questions on her other channel, but... It has to do with putting a little piece of paper on them 
to help track them. Oh, that's okay, Lisa. I know what you're talking about. No, I'm not connected with that, but maybe one, one year I might be. I didn't agree with it at first. Uh, I didn't like what they were doing, but then the more I looked into it last year, I didn't mind it. They track them, their migration. All good, Lisa. It's okay. It's okay. It's all good. Migration is tracked by the little numbers and all that. And um, we'll see. I'm not connected with that. Yeah, good um, question because she does so well. She should. Yeah, I might. You know what I wanted to do, Kathleen? Yeah, I know, Lisa. I think that's a good question. And um, thank you for asking. And you too, Mish. Um, it's it's all good. Please don't be offended. I don't mean to do that to you. But um it's a very good question, and I think maybe next year. We'll see. You know what I really wanted to do? I actually, but I don't want to hurt it. Yeah, there, that's why I keep, I'm promoting more monarch uh, milkweed than I am the, the food. Yeah. I, I, I would be curious. What I wanted to do, because they won't like, if you did it that way, they're under control of it. And then I, don't, I would like to have it, but I'd like to put... Uh, the names who I release it under, and that's not what you're doing. You're just strictly putting a number to see where they migrate to. And I would rather have somebody's name on it and migrate. And I could put like uh, where I'm from, you know, like the, the, the Windsor, Ontario and Lisa, like release on your names and put where it's from. So then they can figure out when they look, you can figure out how, how it flew. You don't have to have uh, a specific code number, but it's a very, yeah. Fred's Nana's guy? Who's Fred? Fred's Nana's guy. Fred? Yeah. Fred. Who's Fred? And there we go. Look, you can see it's in there, right? It's all in there, the sparkly thing. The sparkly salt. Um, this this was a keeper. Now i got to figure out what I want to put in the back of this. So let's see if i got something else. What would I like to put on the back? Fred Nana's guy, the butterfly. Fred? Did I name one Fred? You lost me on that one. Fred? No, these are too big. I don't want that. That's right. This one's a little thinner. I want to be able to write on here. If you want to write on here. Um, I don't like that either. Keep going. I'll find something I like. I don't like these ones. Right, let's find something else. Yeah, I don't. It's I don't like it though. I just I'm gonna find a different color. Maybe you. Where do you put trackers on the butterflies? Uh, they they're little thin thin stickers that go on their wings. That's why I was against it. I didn't like it. But um, because how would you like if you were a butterfly and you had this thing sticking on your wing? Would you like that? I I just felt sorry for the butterflies. But then. Uh, your sticker would read, my name is Fred. I'm, I am Nana's child. <laughs> I, I don't know if I want to do it, though. I don't like the sticker part of this. I don't like that you're putting a sticker on a butterfly's wing. So I don't know. I have to think about it. But the idea of them keeping track of it for migration purposes and all that is actually a very good idea. It's very, very good. Mm -hmm. This might work better. This, I want, I got these. I absolutely love these too. These are like acetate flowers. I, I I love them. It was a kid I got and I absolutely loved it. I just that didn't, it didn't tickle my fancy that color. I didn't like it, but let's try like that. Something more simple. That's what I want. That it's just does the point. That's it. I like this one. That's it. Salt. That's what I want. I'm doing. 
Uh, too bad they couldn't wear a little shoe. They're so funny. Too bad they couldn't wear a little shoe. All right. So, um, yes, I'll have to think about it. Like I said, I don't know. There, I like that one a little bit better. Uh, tickle my fancy. I haven't heard that. That's tick. Yeah, I've said that a lot. I, I like saying that though. I haven't. I used to say it all the time. That tickles my fancy. See, I'm start, gonna start talking southern there, Misha, pretty soon. That tickles my fancy. All right, I'm gonna put this away in my fancy little book. I guys wanted you to make. I wanted you to make a book like this. Just saying, because it comes in handy. My little envelope book. Everything's in there. All my goodies. Um, I don't have have a fancy anymore. Keep your mitts off of me. <laughs> Take my fancy. All right. So it's like that. And like that. Simple, but I like it. So, so we have all this, these ones and these two. And let's go do another one. I got enough for two more, and then that's all I'm doing. Two more. I gotta create ideas out of this, so I don't know what I'm doing next. Okay, what shall we do? I really do like that S. This is a little wrinkly, but it looks good. I actually could put a bow on this front of it if I wanted to, or punch a hole and make this into a nice big tag, which I think that'll be my next one. Yes, good idea. I'm gonna make the next one kind of, as long as I glue it down, I have to watch how I punch it. If I put punch right where the, the glue is, I shouldn't have an issue with this. So let's try another one. All right. Oh, and I, I am okay with, with it all. Oh, I'm okay with it. Ha ha. Three and a half. Let's go for a three and a half this one too. I'm going to cut them all down right now. I got two more to do, so I might as well get these cuts. This is all I'm doing tonight on this stuff. That's it. That's all she wrote. I know there's something I wanted to show you too. I have to think about it. All right. I'm trying to do something really different for this next journal. And I don't know if it's going to work. I'm still tickling age. All right. Two more to do. Let's see. Well, I did it that way and that way. So let's do uh, what I meant. What? Wait a minute. What? I need a little trimmer. Oh, yes. Thank you. I like it too. This should fit both sides of this. So this is what we're going to do here. We're going to do this again because I liked the brown under this. Hoochie coochie coo. Coochie coo, coochie coochie cuckoo, cuckoo cachoo. It's cuckoo cachoo. All right, is that what you're trying to say? Cuckoo cachoo. All right. Let's do this. Let's do it. I was supposed to. Um, I'm going to do the next one that way. That's what I'll do. I'll do a couple like this. All right. Uh, 
sorry for that, just that. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm having a spell. <laughs> Cooties, rock and roll, hoochie coo. All right. All right, here we go. Just be careful. I always rip this thing when I'm too rough with it. Gentle. Next, let's see what I want to do next. Two more. What is the instant coffee on your craft table? This is is this. I was just showing. Um, I was inking it, and it gets too strong at first. So that is my distress oxide vintage. Someone else, please speak. Yes, go ahead. They can speak. Go ahead. They want to. She wants company. Uh, oh, you know, that's what it is. That's what it is. Okay, that would have to go that way. Oh, this is kind of cool. I don't like a postcard thing. Yeah, I think I might do this one right here. The fit. Yes. No, I like it. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that one. This paper I already had. That's vellum. And I kind of like this vintage look. Um, you found it. She found it. Hee hee. It was lost and now it's found. Cool. I don't wanna... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to trim it off there. And I'm going to leave one. Ink. I want to leave this end open. So we're going to do this. Oh, patina. Wait, yay, stuck to her left buttocks. What are you on, Lisa? I want some. What do you want tonight? Uh, I'm going to through my pantry and throwing out old stuff. Oh, yeah? Why do you got to do that? It's old stuff. Is it really as old as that? There we go. That's cool. I'll take it. Lucy, you got happy pills, girl? She got something. She's a, she's a happy girl. I'm sorry. I'll take it and I'll have double. Ooh. Let's make sure that stays down. Uh, I'm excited to finally be with people. Sorry for my mental. Uh, I think we're enjoying it. It's all right. You're you're the uh, laugh of the channel, and I'm just do. As Mike told me, no, actually, you shouldn't pick on Mike. He's not here. But um, I'm doing what I love doing, and some people find it boring. That's what I'll say. I'm doing what I love doing, and it to some people it's not exciting. But hey, it is exciting me. So that's what matters to me. Where did it go? I need my thing. Okay. Except. Apologies, Seth. Uh, no, she is moving. Oh yeah, that's right. She's moving out. And you're gonna hand you're gonna give her all the stuff? You're gonna clean your pantry and give her food because she's moving out. Oh, that's gonna be hard on you, eh? Poor me. You know what? I I I found it really hard. You know I did. It's hard when your kids move. Oh no, it's she, is she sick? It's it's hard when your kids move. Whatever is her stuff. Oh, whatever her stuff. Okay. Yeah, it's hard, but uh, you're a good mama. You're a good mama, Misha. Misha mama. All right. You know what I forgot to do? Okay, so this, I really think it's cool. 
And how, what am I going to do? You know what I want to do is I got stamps. I'm thinking of putting a stamp on this one. I think that would be really cool. But. <sighs> I'll be your baby. Go. Tell her to stay home. Don't go. Yes. Don't go. You know what that does? They go anywhere. They don't listen to you. They want, they're ready to go take off their wings like a butterfly. They don't care that I raised them and fed them and took care of them. They're gone, just like kids. Goodbye. I'll see you later. See you later, alligator. Um, oh, I know. The last one, I'm going to make it into a... Yes, I'm going to make it into a car. Uh, we have three extra rooms now, as long as you take your shoes off. Oh, Lisa's going to your house. I'll be your baby. Well, good for her, an independent woman like her mommy put a sticker on her. Yeah, it's a good thing. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, yes, I think it's a good thing. All right. I want to... You no, know, I'm going to put this back together. So can, let's finish the back. That won't work. It's not going to fit. So I hate that I have to use another piece of paper. But I do. Pull this away. Hmm, something's coming to mind. Oh, bust a vein. Oh, bust a vein. Don't do that. Oh, I got some short paper. That'll work. At least she'll only be ten minutes away across from our church. Oh, that's good. Well, that's good. That's very good. It's. I realize it's good for her independence. Oh, well, that's good to hear. Yeah, absolutely. Come on. Yeah, that's close. That's close. She's close. You're handling it well. That's good. I don't know. I don't handle it well. I, like me and Kathleen, we love our kids. It's not you love your kids too. It's good to be invented, but I like I miss my kids being at home. I miss I miss it. It's it's hard. You know, I find it really hard. It's good to be independent, but I also find it hard as a mother. When they leave the nest. That's a good way. That's that's true. Um, I just pray she'll be safe. She can come over anytime. Yeah. That's true. Right. <laughs> yeah. That's nice. That's a good idea. We can all keep her in our prayers. Absolutely, Lisa. Very nicely said. Very nice. All right. So let's see. That's what I got here. All right. I got that. I want to do some. Um, heck, yeah. I believe in spying. Oh, cool. All right. Spy away. All right. So I'm going to put... The same ones in here because it just I know they work at least and I'm not going to get more sparkly stuff. So this is it's gonna have to do. Uh like Mike. Oh, you think Mike's there? Mike could be spying now because it's at five, so you never know. Mike could be here. That's plenty. All right. I'm taking a toll who has more gray hair, their normal color. 
buy extra groceries because that's where our kids shop. Yeah. <laughs> that's very well said too, Kathleen. That's hilarious. Buy extra groceries because that's... <laughs> I love it. That's true. Um, who has more gray hair than... Than normal color. Oh, I have gray hair. I don't know if I'm top. Trust me, she'll notice. We need to spy on our kids anymore. It's a jungle out there. Yeah, that one's shaking. All right, so you guys are so funny. And I'm going to figure out what I want to do next. I have all that paper here. What did I do with that? I know I got some ripped paper. I'm going to put some ripped paper on this one. Oh, you're taking a, a gray, Kathleen? Okay, wait a minute. Yeah, Kathleen, I already told her to what she needs at the store, and I'll drop it off. All right, there we go. Use that. What else do I want? Um, something else. Well, I'm going to have to put this one here. I keep waiting to show you. I'd like to put, do I have lace? I want a little bit of lace here. On this one, let's see. You guys are all talking to each other. Um, I 100% agree now. I'm going to get lace. I'm going to be right back. Actually, I think I'm going to do some a little change here because I want to put this on here. I love this idea. All right. There we go. How about a little angel? Um, all right. I'm going to put something. This is going to get glued down. Well, my mother still has color but into her, her hair, but it looks great with the gray.
Wait, is that the one I wanted to do? Hmm, I'll see the, I know what I was going to do. All right, let's see what I'm going to do. Save that for the next one. Okay, love what you have. Yeah, that's always a good thing to do. Absolutely. That's what I do. Thanks for, for having here. Yeah, that's true. That's a good point. Put on this side like that, and I want to do something on this side. I don't know what I do. Actually, I could put a little angel in here. I saw a tiny one that's cute. Uh, let's see, I probably used them up. I love this little sticker book I got. Oh, here's one cute. This will go. I like the tones. Let's try this. I was on the phone when you said that you miss your kids. Wow. I do too miss my kids. Emptiness is real, is real and hard to go through. Absolutely. If you're saying that to me, Brenda, absolutely yes. Mike, are you out there? Are you out there? Aria. All right, now what I want to do is I should have stinked all the edges on these ones, and I didn't. This is going to have a lot, but... That is good. All she wrote. And I want to get this one here too. So that one's, I'll show you all, but that's the one right here. Um, I thought I'd go a little bit angel-y because I like it. It's just cool. You can use it for Christmas or different kinds of journals. So that one's done. And I'm going to do I think this one better. I don't like the eight. All right, that's all right. I got one more to do. Yippee yahoo! All right.
great. So we'll put that one aside. Uh, that's done too. And this one I'm going to turn into a shaker tag. That's And they're all different sizes too, which makes it kind of cool. And you know where I'm putting this? Where do you think these are going? These are going into the little envelope thing I made. That's where they're going. All right. So I'm going to make this this way. And i actually going to use paper on this one again, 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 again. Let's try this. Um, Okay, that'll work. All right. Well, I've been on for two hours. Well, this was fun. You guys are all happy with each other, and I'm happy doing what I have to do and love doing. I hope you guys, whoever's the crafting person, wants to give this a try at a later date then you know it was fun to do and just be creative and throw whatever design you want on them and i think this was fun i have to do some more maybe at a later date i'll do some more but i could do some more stuff with toilet paper rolls always incredible toilet paper rolls all right make sure i get this on right uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Um, thank you guys. Thanks, Brenda. And some won't lose some misspelled it. Okay. I do want to make one now. I'll have my craft room back. Oh, okay. Well, I think they're fun. Like I said, I'll show you my intent is next is to do a journal is what I'm going to do. All right. Let me take this. I'm going to put this one in here. Oh, yeah, I will be trying it. I told my daughter while I was on the phone, I need to glitter. She laughed. <laughs> I need to glitter. Ah, uh, Hey, Will, how's it going? Hi, Will. Welcome. There you go. Will's new one. Get him, ladies. Go talk to Will. Will will keep you company. There you name a song or a tune, and there you go. As I craft away. She's got to get her glitter on. I wonder if there's some cool glitter. Like, I got other colors. I didn't bring them out yet. But one was too strong. I really don't like. But it does have a lot of color to it. Trust me, but I'm not going to use it. It's more for Christmas, that kind of glitter. It's too strong. It's too strong of a glitter for my liking. Um, all right, this is going to be a tag shaker. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make this into a type of tag. Um, that's what I want to do. That's what I want to do. All right, I'm going to have to get my hole puncher out, too. I don't have that here yet. <sighs> Toss your unmentionables. Actually, speaking of unmentionables, well, no, not speaking. I My husband threw some shorts away, and I went, yeah, go ahead. Then, Wait a minute, we need to take the buttons off of them. I could use the buttons for crafting or whatever. And so I went back and got them out of the on the top of the garbage. And then I noticed, you know what? These shorts are really good material for a journal. So I went back again and there you have it. All right. I can do this right.
All right, so I'm gonna add these for now. Not a problem, Misha. All right, not a problem. I'm gonna go this side too. All right, so we're going to turn this into a shaker card. A shaker one. A shaker. Don't break off. Uh, what one do I want? I would rather have had that clear that I didn't waste it, but it doesn't like me, so it's not going to be that. And I'm not going to, I don't want to put uh, vellum on that. That's too strong of a vellum. So we need to find, I need to get some acetate. I know I have some somewhere that's clear. That's what I wanted, but because I can't find it, we're going to work with what I got. Actually, that's not big enough. All right, I have polka dots too somewhere in here. Let's see what I got. Yeah, I got that. Let's see. Got something else here. Oh yeah. I'm going to turn on the, that side. It will work nicely, and then you'll be able to see everything. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. All right. Not me, I don't touch me, Tom. Wait a minute. Is that wait a minute? Is that what that that stain really is on your crowning doing for the those from the shorts? That's gross. Lisa, you stop that. Bad. Bad girl. Bad girl, what are we gonna do with you? What are we gonna do with you? Yeah, I was gonna say, ooh, Lisa. Yeah, you tell ooh, what the heck is what is she saying? She's she's on something tonight. I'm telling you. It says share. It's good stuff. I wanna let that stick a bit because it's gonna slide. So we're just gonna do this, and I'm going to go get my punch that I want to use. Actually, I can do the back of here, too. Because this time, I'm going to use this on the back. Somehow. Maybe I'm a little smaller. I don't like it this big. There we go. I have problems. <laughs> All right. Always a meow. Cool. Mm Too big. Let's see what here. I just have some small ones. They're all big now. I used them all up, I think. I did, I did, I did. Let's go find something else. 
These are beautiful butterflies, but they're way too big for what I want to do. All right, gonna get rid of that. Too big. Next, find something else to use. Put a bit, put a bit of this one. Ooh, that may work. Let's see. No, it's too big. No, I don't want that. No, no, no. Down, down, down. Down, down. Let's find something else. It might do, let's see. Um, I'm reading Pop Tarts. Not with that, not with that. These are two. Oh, I think I found what I wanted right here. That's what I want a little bit. Perfect. Yeah, now I gotta do this again. Put it away, right? Okay. Strawberry prep tart. Yeah. Yeehaw. I wish I had some Pop Tarts. I could go for that too right now. I could go for that. I need some cutouts. I need to be get a printer. I need a printer with ink and print cutouts of little butterflies. That would work better than all this. I love all this stuff, but it's getting too big. I don't have to, something tiny anymore. All my stuff is getting too big. Too big. All right. Side. I'm going to see if I can cut this off. I'm going to check on a what other color do I have? I want a different color in here. So I have to go get a hole punch anyways to finish this. And what else I'm gonna put in here? All right. So go there. Let me read back and then go hole punch.
let's see how this looks like. I might mix a couple of them in this little guy. I was trying to find pink, but I think I'm going to do a combo. Let's see. Open this up. All right. So we have to open it up. Move a little bit of this side. That's okay because I'll re glue it off there. All right. I'm going to put some green in here. Hey, new mat, we're new mat, new, new maniac. You know, I always see your name wrong. Gosh, hello. I was just out. Okay, let's put that down there. Take care, Will. Oh, Will's leaving. And everyone helping mom. I will be, be uh, back tomorrow. Have a wonderful. You too. Have a good one. Have a good night. Let's put some uh, stars in this one too. A little pink and green. Let's do a little bit of a color and then I'm going to glue the sides down after. Yeah, it's going to get a little drier. Hiya. Hi you. That's enough. All right. It's going to get stuck because the glue's not dry yet, but I'll live with that. I will definitely live with that. And I'm going to glue all the top and sides again because I don't want anything spilling out. And then this side while it's waiting and I'm going to go do this okay well it's not funny the word God appears on this one mm. it says so plan come in God Zero to rescue party. Come in, come in. So it's funny, God is right. The word God is right on this piece where I never even read it. That's cool. Very cool. So what's up with you? He says, hiya. What have you been doing there, Mr. New Maniac? What's going on? Well, she's off work, so I'm going to start helping her move things. God bless y'all. Oh, you're going? Okay, see you later, Mish. Have a good one. Thank you. See you later. Have fun. See you later. All right, I'm going to go through this. There. And I'm going to put my little butterfly on. I've been on for two and a half hours. Well, this is going to be actually shorter than normal. Um, I'm not going to stay four or five hours because I did my project, but I'm going to do a couple things and I'll show you. Yeah, take your God bless. Absolutely. All right. And I'm going to make a hole in this one. And we're going to make a hole right here on the top somewhere in the center. Oh, it's going to be hard because it's plastic. Ah, oh, come on. Ugh. Do it again. I knew it was going to be hard to cut through because it's plastic. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Oh, God, it's hard. Ah! Wow, well, that's fun. I'm going to make this work, but uh, it's hard. All right. Ah, I saw a little, a little snap here. Come on, you can do it. Mm. 
Let's see, I can use a pokey tool to help me. It's getting there. It's probably because it's still a little bit too wet to punch this hole. Not believe how hard this is, but it is because it's plastic. And there's glue on it. Ah, yeah. I'm getting there. It's there, but I think it has a lot to do with if I would have let it dry, it might have punched easier. Yay! I did it. Whew. That was a little bit of work, but I got it. Yes. Yes. And uh, what am I going to put on the front? I want something pretty to cross eye. So I have butterflies there. Actually, I could put a big butterfly. That would be really pretty on here anyway. <sighs> oh, you too, Mish. Thank you, honey. Uh, we'll speak to each other soon. Thank you for coming, and you um, have a good time. Take care. See, I wanted it. It's got pink in it, so I better not. Well, maybe the white one will go better with this. i do this. That might work better because I got a little pink one on the front. And I can put that right like that. Yes. All right. I can do that. Let's see if I want um, flowers good for sure. Instead of a butterfly. I mean, that would work cool too. That's one of my favorite ones. I used to walk and like it. That was too dark. I have two choices. Either the butterfly, and I gotta do a vintage one too. So let's try that. All right, Kathleen, are you still there? Brenda, are you guys still there? Just going to ask you. I'm going to give you a choice to see which one looks the best. Let me find a piece I wanted to put on there, a vintage piece. 
I mean, I'm going to, I don't want, let's see. You like the flower the best? You like the flower, okay, because it was that, and I was going to see if a vintage piece would look good on here. Yeah, I think the flowers so far have got my bet too. Yeah, I think, um, oh, I gave a choice. She likes the flower. I put three different choices here. Okay, this is the tag. And I'm going to put a lace in the middle of it. So let me finish this and then you guys can... The flower, she thinks the flower is good. Um, there's three choices that I think look okay, pretty good. Let me get this lace done though. The lace is going to be on the part of the tag. Why oh, did I ever tape this together good? So we're going to put this in here. And I might come with a little more glue. I mean, this got to glue overnight. It's not going to be ready for a while, but. Actually, I don't like it knotted. It's not nice. One is perfect for this. Okay. Just cut it off for now. And move it away. Okay, so I'm just asking. Um, okay, this is the lace I want to do. A ribbon and I need a better scissor. My scissors are terrible to cut, so I can't have to get another pair. But th this is the back. It has a little butterfly on it, like this. Obviously, it's got it's shaker. It's got greens and little stars in it. And we need to know if you want. I like it too. My preference is the flower. I think that looks the best. There's one. Two are three. And which one do you like the best? I like the flower, and Brenda likes the flower. And that's what, before I move it on, I was just kind of roughly looking at which one I like. I like this one the best. But uh, what do you think? One, two, or three to finish this up. And in the meantime, I'm going to get. I don't need any, some of this I'm going to put away right now because I'm going to get some glue here. Okay, we're in agreement. You like the flower too? That's perfect. Okay, perfect. So that's what I'm gonna do. I actually came to get. I don't have the best scissors lately. I have to get some sharpened, or I need new scissors because these are really they cut really bad. Like all of them. I don't have a good pair of scissors that cut nice. See, it makes a mess. Let's try these ones. So far, that's the best. I'll keep that too. I can use it all for something else. Those little pieces. All right. 
that is the last piece of the puzzle. And what time is it? It's getting, it's not that late. I thought, I always clean this mess up in the morning if it gets too late. So I'm going to put this down. Let's put that down. And well, my, I don't have my tweezers with me either, but I'm just going to estimate here. Right here. Let's get that stuck down. All right, that looks cool. Okay, so what I want to do is let that dry. So that's uh, all the little projects that I did with you guys. So here we go. There it is. All little shaker cards. And then I turned it in, one into um, a tag. And there's another one. Which is the back, the front, my angel one. My butterfly one. Uh, then you got these little ones. And there's another one that I did. That's the original one I did. And there's that one. And that one. And that should hold me until I want to make some more. But uh, that. Actually, this one might end up going in my journal I'm making too. I like this one for it. Uh, I don't know about And I'm not sure which one yet. But I like the flower one might go into that journal. So we have that done and that done. All right. So that was fun. And so I want to tell you, I'm here for a couple minutes more, but I will tell you, uh, they are all so pretty. Yeah, I'm happy that they turned out cool. I'd make some more with you guys. Imagine doing this, making some of these for Christmas. Um, you can use different paper. And I might, I might come back and make some more for Christmas. Um, and find my clear acetate so I can use like maybe a Santa Claus on the back, make it more 3D or something. Um, so I could do some Christmas ones too. So that's what I'd say. But um, I got to get this. I'm going to sit it, make sure it's all dry by the time I'm done. And if this doesn't stick, sometimes I'm not lucky. It doesn't stick to this. And I will use the E6000 if I have no choice. But so far, look at all of it stuck pretty good. These are all done from before, so they're all uh, pretty cool. And I'm going to show you again. Were you guys here? Um, I don't. I know Cliff probably left a while ago, but I hope he comes because I'm going to start the journal now. But I have things that are going to go on the journal, so I want to be honest here. We're going to start by the cover, and I'm going to do two covers the next time I come on. We're going to do cover in to using cereal boxes. Uh, thanks, guys. Thank you for hanging in with me. We're going to do, let me move this out of the way because it's going to dry overnight and then I can put them away. Uh, but I want to show you. All right. So let's do this again. You guys want to join me in making a journal. You're going to need two boxes, any size you want of the journal, okay? So this was cereal boxes that I showed you. I showed you two things. Cereal boxes, so I'm going to come back and do a cover with cereal boxes. We're going to sand down sand down the two. I have a sanding somewhere I had it. I can't use it. It's here somewhere. There's sanding paper, so I'm going to get you to sand it. We'll do it together. We're going to sand this down, glue these back to back, put clamps in it or something you have to hold together. That'll be one cover. Then I'm going to come back. You guys see me, whoever's been with me, and I'm going to make another cover with chipboard, which is done differently. I'm going to use craft paper. I'm going to have to cut the pieces down separately. I don't know if I'll do it on a live stream or cut it ahead. I'll just kind of be more organized and cut how, how the pieces are. So you have two choices of showing you how to two, two covers. 
Then from there, then I'm going to decorate the cover, not both of them, because I don't know what I want to do on the second chipboard. This one, this one here, I already have the cover started. And um, you will be, I will be naming this, uh, what did I say? Um, uh, quilting, no, something quilting piece journal. I forgot exactly what I, my brain's getting tired here, so I forgot what it is. But this is where I took scraps of, of material and I'm doing this at night, so I should be done this piece. It's not quite big enough for the cover yet, but uh, it's going to be a quilted one, right? So when, as soon as you see the next live stream, when I say I'm going to start the journal, it's going to be a quilting journal, right? So you'll you'll see from start to finish, I'll show you how to do a journal, but mine's going to be a quilting cover, and you can put whatever you want. You just can put paper on it. You can put newspaper on it. You can put craft paper. You can put designer paper. You can decorate the cover any way you want. You don't have to have material. You can do plain material, whatever you want. But this is my next journal. I, I've never done one before, a quilted one. So I kind of made this kind of pattern up, and I'm still going to sew some more stuff. As you can see, all the pins. And it's not quite big enough because I need the length of this. And it has to turn on all sides to get in here. So it's got to come like that's the, the front of it, but you get the idea. I'm going to have to go like that and bend it over so it's not quite big enough to bend over. And the ends might not be either. i got to make sure it's all big enough to bend. And that's going to be the front of my journal. So if you guys want to join me and do the start of a journal, then you will need, like I said, you will need either a chipboard or all you need is two boxes, any kind of box. It doesn't have to be a cereal box. Any... It could be a craft dinner box if you want to do a smaller journal. The craft dinner is only half inch. This is, why does this uh, spine, let me see. I have my roller here. I, I want to say it's roughly two inches, but I think it's less than that, this one. But normally, um, on average, it's about two inches. So, sorry, I don't know what I did with the ruler part. I had it. Here it is. Okay, I got it. I'll measure this for you guys. To see, and this is going to have two signatures in it. So we're going to, I'm going to do two signatures, and I'm not going to go through the whole book because it's quilted. So this is, it's one and three quarters. This is a little less than one and three quarter inch wide. This one. So one and three quarter, and I'll tell you everything. I'd have to chop this down because I'm have to come in and, and do this. But the actual size, right as of now, is about six inches. So this journal might be five and a half inches wide and I have to trim this down. So let's see how big this one is. Uh, one, two, this is by nine. So I'll probably make this journal maybe, we'll see eight. It's gonna go five and a half by eight, eight and a half, somewhere in there. That's the size of the journal with two signatures in it. And I will not be going through the spine like I showed on the last journal where I did shoot showed two different kinds of how to, uh, tie the journal in, um, I put it on the outside where you go in and then it direct. And the one I just showed you with the envelope journal, which I can show you that again right now while I'm here, but this one's going to be the last one. I'm going to do a paper that fits in here and I'm going to put the two journal things in here. And then this gets glued down. I might even attach it to fabric. I'm not sure yet what I want to do, but it's going to be where you put the whole thing down on here. And so you can, it, so I like to see the uh, quilting pattern I have. I'll, I'll see it on this one. That's where I'm taking this. So, um, so you're aware of what I want to do the next live stream. And you can do this one. You saw how I did this, the, how to tie that in. You can do this kind of journal, like I was saying, or you can do, it's the same thing but it's gonna be glued inside and you won't see it on the outside. The last time I did it, I showed two ways of how I binded journals. And I got some other binding coming up too. I got other things that I saw that I really wanna do. And it's gonna be fun. If you wanna learn how to do Japanese binding, that's what I'm gonna to do too. I'm gonna to make a little book and it'll be using Japanese binding. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's what I'll say next time you guys uh, are up for that. Or what do you think? How do you feel about doing this? I'm doing it anyways. You don't have to do it guys. Anything I tell you what I'm doing, 
if you want to just watch and not do it, that's okay with me. Or if you want to come along with me, then just make sure that you have the supplies you need to do it. And obviously you're going to need glue, right? Uh, some way to cut it down. A little bit of uh, sandpaper. Here it is. Here's my sandpaper right here. And you can see I already kind of already wrecked it up. So this will adhere to much better if we take the, the gloss coating off of it. It'll glue better together. Mind you, the other book I just showed you, I glued it and I didn't scratch it down. It was fine. It stays together. You see the book, my envelope embellishment uh, book. So what do you think, you guys? You guys want to do one or want to watch? I, I'm, I'm only asking if you don't want to do one right away, that's fine. Because then... I'll give you less time, but if you want to do one and you need to get the stuff in order to do one, um, uh, I'm excited to make one. I might fall behind, but I can catch up with your, your videos. Okay. So you're, you're in for it. Kathleen, you want to do one with this or like, no, you guys can always catch up. I just want you to be encouraged to show you how to do stuff and finish it too. As long as you finish it, don't worry. You don't have to be stressed out to finish it when I finish it. It's just, it's kind of like I'm trying to get you to finish your projects. And uh, I think you guys are doing awesome on the glue book. I haven't seen them. I'd like to see them after for sure. If you want to show me your glue books, um, be my guest. You can come up and show me and I'll show them out. I'll take do a, a special um, OBS thing so I can take the pictures and show their, your books. It's up to you. You guys, no pressure either way. You want to do it, not want to do it. Um, so Brenna says she wants to do it. And um, you want the Japanese binding is really cool. I'm going to show you that. I, I'm not going to do it on this. You have uh, Japanese binding. So, and there's other bindings too. Why are you making it? Uh, because I find it a lot sturdier. I want it sturdier. I don't find one cardboard. You could actually do one and, and, and fix the beginning. But trust me, Kathleen, it's not sturdy because I did this other book. Remember the one? This one I did with two and it's still not that strong. Right here. That was done with two books, and it's still weak on the front. It bends. So that's why I do two, because even two boxes I don't find really that strong. It's too too weak. Of a, uh, if you're going to do it, it's too weak of a cover as far as I'm concerned. But you can do one if you want. You don't have to do two, but... I don't recommend it. I, I think it's much strong. As a matter of fact, I might even reinforce the spine a little more than this. I actually, I'm going to do this and I might take another piece and put it in here to reinforce the spine even stronger and then come back and overlap my piece over top of that. So if you look, you'll, you'll, you'll see what I mean. A lot of people, you have to reinforce this or this will fall apart. You have to have that strong. And I don't find one cardboard box strong at all. That's why I when I do covers, most of them are chipboard because chipboard's a lot. See this chipboard, and this isn't even the one I got, but it's if you glue these together, this thing, this chipboard is stronger than these two together, in my opinion, because I've done them with all kinds of stuff. So that's what I'll say. It's it's in durability. You want it to last. Or do you want it to fall apart with one one cover? You can do whatever you like. You can use one box, but I'm not I'm not going to do that. So that's what I'll say. Strictly up to you. Whatever you want to do. <sighs> and does that answer the question now? Does that answer your question? Because I've made enough of these now that I know how thick something is as strong. And I don't find even two of these that strong, honestly. So, up to you. That's what I want to do. Do, 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 do. Excuse me. Go. Oh. That could take a little while to do what I want to do, the two bindings. The next time I'm doing the two bindings, and then I'll have this, my material, that should be finished by the time I come back here on a live stream. 
if I get enough chance, I'll do the two, two journals covers. And then I'm going to actually adhere my journal cover to my piece. Is there a, it, there might be a delay. I bet you, you guys got to refresh. Are you caught up to me at all? I think you guys might be a little behind because if you don't refresh what I'm saying, it's kind of way behind. That's why I don't know if we're caught up or, or I answered the question. Which I think I answered it. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Oh, okay. I have things to make. You want to make an envelope journal too? Or um, So what do you think? You want to do this? or Well, Brenda says, yeah. Um, you, like I said, I shouldn't say, I just, you know, the only reason I want to know if you want to do it is then it gives, I'm not going to come back. I'm going to make sure I do my cool thing and give you enough time before I come back. Like I'm not going to come back tomorrow and start this, this journal thing. I'm going to give you at least a few days before I come back at least. Cause I have things to do with the butterflies and all kinds of other stuff that I'm working on, but then I, I I'm working on this offline and I'm working on other projects to bring you back. Um, some other cool stuff I have. Um, I'm trying to think of what I want to do. There's one where it's it's um, using, what did I do? It's like layers, and the layers will open up, but you can hold it together with a little clip, which I had to order. I don't have any bull, bull, bulldog clips, like a silver one. I want to use a silver bulldog clip, and it has layers that you can put stuff all the way in it. It's going to fit in an envelope, so you can actually put some stuff in this thing and send it away to somebody if you really wanted to. Um, and it can go in a journal and it has levels, but I, I, I just, I don't have it ready yet to show you when I have it ready. I'm, so it's something you can put in a journal. Actually, there's another one that I, I want to make too. And I think maybe Kathleen have heard it or Brenda. Um, they're called an exp expendable pocket, extendable pocket. So what I plan on doing is showing you how to make an extendable pocket and I'm going to put it in the back here. I'll probably put it like going down this way. So what happens is it opens up. You can stuff a bunch of stuff in it and it, it expands a little bit. So it's really cool and you can make it look really pretty. And I'm going to put the expandable pocket on the back of this journal. So that's, there's all kinds of stuff I want to not only make it, but show you things that you can put inside of it after, which should be a lot of fun. Um, I might have the wrong name for you. You made something with envelopes last week. No, that's okay. It's called, uh, it's the Euphemera. Um, it's not really a journal. It's a book, but I called it the Envelope Euphemera Aquarium Pocket Night. Yeah, you might like that to put it in the journal. We'll make some of those um, after. Let's. I want to start putting the whole journal together, and then I'll come back and show pieces how to decorate it after. I also want something else. I want to... Um, and I'm going to do two signatures of mine. So you got to kind of determine how many signatures you want in your journal too. So I'm just doing two. They'll be rather big in this one, but I'm going to do two, two journals. And then I'm going to come back. Like I said, the accordion pocket's going to be here. And then I'm going to actually, I want to do something else. that's really fun. I don't know if you ever heard of it, but it's um, edging for papers. So you take this thing that's about um, this wide, like about an inch, right? And then you're going to decorate all the edging. And then you come back and glue the edging on a one of your papers. So it's really pretty. You could actually do sections of lace, material, different kind of paper. It all gets decorated. It's about an inch wide to the length of your journal. And then you take it and then let's say this was one of your papers. You glue it on the end of the paper. So it fits just like right below the edge of the, the, the uh, journal cover. And it looks really pretty. And so you can do a whole bunch of these up ahead. And then if you want to add it to that journal or a future journal or whatever you want to do with it, um, you can put them in later. So i got tons of ideas of different things I want to show you how to do. Then you can add charms to it. Um, I'm, I will on this one. I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but I'm going to, I am going to do the, this, like I said, this is going to be a quilting one. And I'm going to punch a hole here up top, probably add, um, Oh, I just forget the name of it, but it's going to have a thing in here. And then I'm going to have a dangle down here. I'll make some kind of dangle for this journal. Most of my journals have dangles that I've done already. But the other one I haven't done that with. But this one, because I won't have the the lines on the side, I want to fancy it up just a little bit with a dangle thing on, on here on the side. So, um, 
That's what I'll say. And you guys can have fun with picking and choosing whatever you want to do. So I'll probably come back. I'll give you some time. You want to do it. Like I said, if you're interested in starting a journal from beginning to finish, it, you won't have to do that much. It's not hard homework because the, the main one, I think I'll just start out with the cover and we'll just get the two covers done. And then I'll come back inside and show you how the signatures, how I'm going to do my signature and everything. And the papers will be all there for the signature. And then I'm going to, from there, um, like I said, I'm going to decorate a bit, put some different things in it. That sounds good, Brennan. Okay. Well, I know you're going to have fun. And I just, um, I don't know if Kathleen wants to uh, join. Do you, do you have time for that, Kathleen? Or are, are you just going to visit or do you, is it interest you to, to do this? I'm asking you, you know what, like I said, I know it sounds like I'm bugging you all to do it. I really am not. I just want to know to allow enough time to come back if somebody really wants to follow along with me. Um, this is what you're going to need, and um, we shall do it. I can do one? Okay. I Hopefully you'll like it, and you can do more than one. We'll do, we'll do projects. I'm not going to do one in a row. One journal from start to finish. And then I'm going to do things to decorate journals. And then maybe I'll come back with other things besides journaling. Cause you know, I get, I don't do journaling constantly. I do other crafts besides this, but because I keep thinking about Cliff and he said, when are you getting to do the journal? Um, I said, I would show him from beginning to end. And I want to do the, the one for him. I don't think this cover is strong enough for leather. I think he needs to do the one with chipboard that's why I decided to do two different covers. This is for us guys, for whatever we want to decorate. And the chipboard is for if you want to do leather or something thicker, I really think you need a stronger chipboard than that. And then there's soft cover journals that are really cool to do too. Like I said, and then there's the different bindings I want to show you how to do. I'm going to learn myself. The Japanese binding, like I said, is very cool. And so you guys can all do that. All you need is a bunch of... Uh, a cover from beginning to like you need to cover it for the top, a bottom cover and paper in between. Okay. So you're going to the market on Saturday. What's today's Thursday, right? So I'll be canning early in the week. So what are we talking about? That's why you're today. I'm losing track. Today's Wednesday. I'm not going to come back. Um, if I, no, I don't think so. I won't start this until I'm just trying to think of a day that, to come back. Um, so you said Monday and Tuesday. Yeah, Japanese binding's not hard. It's gonna be fun. I'm gonna do do that with some booklets. It's, it's gonna be fun. Like you're basically punching holes and then you, you insert it through. It's very easy and you don't normally do it. It's not for a big binder you're doing it for. You're doing it for more like a pad size book, um, which should be fun to do. Um, so that's what I'll say. There's other bindings. I'm going to work with all of them. I just do this, the typical three-way binding, but there's other ones to learn, and I would love to bring it to my channel and learn and show you, along with me learning, too, to do it. So let's see. We will. I will definitely not do it on the weekend. So today, so if there's a, um, I might come back. Well, if I come back. What you said, money and tar you're canning on the weekend, so I'm not going to do it on the weekend. Um, what about next Wednesday? I can all, always catch up. How about yeah, that's true, you could. Um, how about well, how many days are you canning at the latest? I want to come back. You have a whole week, so today's Wednesday. Um, if I come back next Wednesday, that's seven days. You have a whole week to try to get organized. And you will have you'll be doing canning Monday and Tuesday. So what is this next Wednesday sound okay? If something goes on, I'll switch the date later. But Wednesday probably I'll do Wednesday at the earliest to do this. Does that sound good to you guys on when, next Wednesday? I'll give you warnings. I'll I'll yeah, Wednesday's good. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll give warnings on my thing. I'll kind of come back on Monday or something on the weekend and say, don't forget, or I'll just say, it's going to be called, like I said, um, how did I say it? Patchwork, patch, no, quilting, patch, uh, I wish I remember. It's a quilting journal, patch quilting journal, and that's what I'll do. So 
Yeah. Why do I not? I, it's kind of like I had a name for it, but you'll see it. This will be, you see it. It's quilting. So a quilting journal or patch quilting journal um, from start to finish. And it'll be episode one. And then we'll do episode two, three, four, five. And we'll try to complete it. And then I'll come back and do some additives to what we can put inside it, the extended pockets, um, stuff like that. So Wednesday, we have a deal, right? Because um, I think I'm going to get off soon. And like I said, I got all this work to clean up. But um, And you can always catch me, you know, Kathleen with butterflies and all that. I'll be up to date on that because uh, uh, it's going to be a little bit for that one too. Everything's kind of falling behind because it's, it's just going to take 10 to 11 days to have a butterfly. So I can't do that either. So you guys, um, I don't think I'll be back here until next Wednesday then because this is my plans. We're going to craft together. So we have a date for next Wednesday. And I think I'm going to leave you guys because it's been three hours. I know normally sometimes I stay longer, but I think three hours is a good live stream. I got all my stuff done. You guys know how to do it. And we will meet back for this journal and covers. And hopefully Cliff will come because Cliff, you wanted to, to learn. So I don't know if he's listening or not, but he'll see the title on it. And he'll come and follow along with us too. Thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate everybody coming, all of you, from Lisa to, um, well, everybody, Lisa, Misha, Brenda, Kathleen, um, whoever. I think Cliff popped in the beginning. Everybody. Um, and, of course, I thought you were there. Mike has to be smarty pants. Night all. Sleep tight. Love you all. God bless. Take care, darling Kathleen. Later, Brenda D. M. C. Bye, bye, Mike. Thank you for uh, saying. <laughs> You're so funny. Bye. I'll see you later, guys. Look at it. it's three hours. I'm just waiting for the dot. Take. Thank you, Nana. You great time. Everybody, take care. I'll, so we have a date for next Wednesday, and I'll see you guys. I don't think I'll see you sooner than that. So thanks, guys. Yeah, you too, Mike. Um, I should. I did shout you out, but I don't think you were here when I said, I bet you Mike's hanging in the background. We don't want to bore Mike. And not, not good. I don't, Lisa must have left too. I, I don't know where she disappeared, but bye, Lisa, if you're still out there. See you later, guys. Uh, have a good night. Take care.